Today I'm going to show you how to take an old t-shirt and make an apron with no sewing and just a few cuts. So this is a goofy t-shirt I got. This is, and I'm not interested in this. And this is the back side of the t-shirt and this is the front. Now normally if you have a nice t-shirt, you would use the front and you would not cut the front. I don't like this. So what we're going to do is I'm going to actually probably more later on work on taking these labels out very carefully because the back of this t-shirt is actually going to be my front. I don't like the front. And it doesn't matter if the neck's a little lower. It still works perfectly fine. I've done it. So this is the side we're going to cut because this is going to be the front of my apron. Let me show you how easy this is to make an apron. Let me get this all straightened out so you can see. The first thing we're going to do is cut off the sleeves. If you want, you can fold it and do them both at the same time. I'm going to just cut the sleeves off. We're doing both sides on this. Let's go to about here. Use a really good scissors. This is my fabric scissors. We're going to go all the way to the neck and around. Do not cut the neck. We're leaving that no matter what we cut, we never cut the neck. Now if you want to make sure it's even, go ahead and lay out this so you know where you cut it. Gives you an idea. We started it down here, so we're going to cut here. And then just follow it as smooth as you can. And you know what? Imperfections on this don't show. So we're going to go all the way to the top and we're going to cut right next to the neck. You're now done with the sleeves. You can always go back and straighten it out if you think you need a little more off on one side or the other. That's very easy to do later. We're going to cut out down the middle, which is right there, all the way up. Do not go through the neck. That's as far as we're going. Now we're going to go around the neck, but leave the neck intact. That's going to be the top of your apron, so you don't want to cut that. Whatever you do, and you can reach down and do it this here. And you can clean it up later if you don't do it perfect. Don't worry about it. This is how easy this is. We're going to cut off around the neck. Okay, so we've got the neck left now. Now we've got it cut all the way up. So what I'm going to do is cut it from here to there. We've got it fairly straight. So we can just go all the way across so it's straight. And we could do it either way. We could do it separate. Like We could do it just this way. Let's, let's use the, the line here. Now right now we're only cutting the back. No more of the front. We're not cutting the front at all. Same thing here. Let's make sure we don't want to cut the front. And like I said, if it's not perfect, you won't know it. It doesn't have to be perfect. So we're going to cut around here. Okay, we're done with this. Now you save this if you want to make pockets later. Look at that. Now you go, wait a minute. What about ties? There are different ways of doing the ties. You could cut this on both sides and make your tie that way. But I want a long tie. This is too short. So this is the way I do it. Now, you know what, let's go, yeah, let's do this. It's very square here, you can leave it. I found that it works fine. But I'm gonna just kind of shape it a little bit. You don't have to though. I've got many, I've never cut that and shaped it. So I can shape it a little bit on both sides. But you don't have to, you wanna shape it, shape it a little bit, you know, you'll see what I'm doing, but you don't have to shape it. What now? Now, this is the fun part. And it's like, what? We're going, like I said, I didn't even shape this one, but you can and you don't have to. And now it's a little shaped. We're going to start down here. Let me make sure you can see that on the bottom, I would go approximately one and a half to two inches. This is going to be your apron tie. Very slowly, take your time to do this. Go all the way up and follow the edge about two inches, one and a half. Doesn't matter, however you want. Look at that, I went probably more one and a half, and that's perfectly fine. We're gonna go all the way up 
to wherever you really want to tie it. And you can change this later. Okay, let's say right there. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. You won't see it. You really won't know it. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Start from the bottom and just follow the edge. It's so fun. I'm taking a lot of my pocket t-shirts from the garden. I've been changing them. Because in the winter I wear a lot of sweatshirts. And yeah, I can make sweatshirts with pockets, but I don't want to bother. We can decide, let's see where it is. Are we pretty even? We are. We're done. Your apron is now done. Now you can bring it up higher if you want to tie to be higher. That's up to you when you try it on your body. But we are done. This is going to drape. This is a perfect extra towel when you're cooking in the kitchen to wipe your hands. And then when you're, you know, get it dirty, when you're done cooking, it's time to throw it in the wash. Just throw it in the wash and you're done. But this is it. The apron is now done. And the front on this apron no longer has that goofy design. So you can use anything. This goes over the head. We're done. The apron is done. After you've cut it, if you've decided, gee, I want it a little higher the, where you're tying it, all you have to do is fold your apron back, fold it in half, and you can bring it up a little bit higher. If you want it to tie a little higher, you cut each side. Just again, follow the edge of your apron. And now your ties are perfect. They'll be even when you tie it on you. This becomes your extra towel. Don't cut this off unless you don't like it. But I love the drape on this. And this is it. And your ties, you got a little waist. You can tie it in the front. If not, you just simply tie it in the back. We are done with this apron. The apron is completely done. You've taken an old t-shirt and turned it into a wonderful tool for the kitchen or the garden. And then again, if you want to make a pocket, later on you can take one of the sleeves. You can put any pocket you want. You can take the edge you took off and you can cut it and you can make pockets on this with the leftover material. You can glue it or you can sew it. But your apron is done out of a t-shirt one, two, three, we now have a beautiful apron.